he didn't as much grow up listening to jam band music. I did a lot, very heavily. So when I started forming bands, I was always forming jam acts and just songs that had sections that would stretch and weren't always the same. So, and that's the case for Big Shrimp. So usually when we, when we play shows, we try to get other jam acts on the bills with us. So kind of how we become involved in the jam scene around New York and now starting to become the Northeast area of New England. Yeah. Cool. What about you, man? I, my, my father was, grew up a deadhead and I was, I was kind of born and raised into, at the very least, fish in the dead. And that was the basis of like, where this whole thing started for me. And as the years went by, I kind of added my own bands, the, the jam bands that I was finding on my own. And as time went by, it kind of became this very eclectic mix of funk, the funk side of the jam scene, and also the southern side, the Gormans and, and Tedeschi Trucks. So like, I started kind of adding to what my father had shown me with Fish and the Dead. But I was around it at a very, very early age, so I'm fortunate for that. I, I will say, Born and raised on Long Island, there are. It's a very strong community. There are people who love music, and and especially in this jam circle, there there is a really rich crowd, but it is limited in numbers. And the desire on the island, where where from, is more. It's a more cover band centric thing, or or just a little harder of a type of music, whether it be punk or just a metal, a lot of metal. Yeah. And I think, I think A, that feeds into kind of our sound. I mean, we could, if we choose to, and that that's the vibe, we can really jump into a kind of a heavy place. But because that's the scene that we've been gigging around our whole lives, but there's a really strong desire for this type of jam music and while limited in people, they really want it so they eat it up and and, and we, we really love everyone out there that supported us on the island. But we, we do travel into the city because there's more bodies, there's more people out there so it's just yeah. kind of... <laughs> He's everyone's uncle. <laughs> yeah, Lon, Lon is my uncle. Um, really? He, he and my dad, well, not really by blood, but my dad, him, oh, my dad and him have been best friends for about 45 years now, and he's, he, he's been there your whole life, and we have been seeing music and talking about music and and, and forever. So, so that's my relation. And and once I joined Shrimp about two years ago, he was right there. You know, he, he jumped on board. He loved the music. He really loved the guys. And, and he's, he's, he's shown nothing but love to us or, yeah. since I joined the band. Yeah, no, 2019 was definitely a groundbreaking year for the band. Oh, that's for sure. We did a lot. Um, it was really the first time we did a real tour the summer. That summer tour was a, or actually, you know, 2018 was also a fairly decent sized tour, but um, 2019 was we just we went all over. It was the furthest we ever traveled as a band, as west as Cleveland and as south as DC and also up to Maine. So we had a huge kind of, what would you say, a circle yeah, yeah. of, of, we met so many people. Uh, to pick favorites is definitely hard. A special moment for me was definitely Orlando's yep. in October. Oh yeah. When we had Ryan and Total come up and played Orpheus. And that's pretty cool because, you know, I've also always, we have a uh, piano on, on the record. So, you know, every time we play that part, I'm always hearing piano under or over. I mean, it, it's and just nice to, to have Ryan come up, someone who I've seen perform on big stages many, many times, come up and play Orpheus with us was definitely a special moment. But there, there was so, so many cool, we did a bunch of festivals and which is great because we've been trying to get on the festival circuit more. So that was a huge breaking point for us being on a few festivals last summer and fall. Um, yeah, no, I would, there was so many special moments 
Bose, Bose Bar and Green Lawn. That was, was a little fun. summer tour closer. That was hometown. That was, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say for me, it would probably be uh, uh, one of the, it, it was honestly one of the, uh, was, uh, I'm gonna backpedal on that, it wasn't that small. But um, out all the way in the, the far southwestern corner of Pennsylvania, a little, little town like uh, Connellsville, Uniontown, Giving Glade area. We played a festival there. Um, and it, that more than anything was like the most encouraging thing to me because like that, that was among one of the furthest points that we played from our collective home area. And the fact that like, we had a solid chunk of people like keeping up with us from there and like, you know, talk on Facebook, they're still listening to our songs, they're, they're keeping in touch with the band, like, that's really encouraging that, you know, we, we can make a seven or eight hour schlep and there's still people that are going to be coming out to see us, which is, you know, sometimes you don't even get a turnout like that on Long Island, which I think also, like, kind of facilitates the needs for us to be on the road and playing around constantly because you never really know where you're going to strike gold. If you asked me how I thought that gig was going to turn out before we even did the pre-party, I was like, I don't know, we might get a couple people. The fact that it was like the pre-party already, we had a nice crowd and then by the time we actually played the festival, it was a really healthy sized crowd. It's very encouraging and it, it, it's it's really fun. It, it's, it's just a lot of love everywhere. But um, shout out to all my friends in Connellsville. <laughs> I would say uh, one Facebook like goes a really long way, so we could stay in touch. And we're always very active on Facebook. We're always <coughs> posting when the next show is and live streams too. Every single show is live stream. Um, yeah. Whoa. Uh, it's very rare that we miss a live stream. So. Probably only happened like twice in our career. Yeah, so it, anytime you see if there's a big shrimp show, you can almost always catch it on the live stream. <laughs> so I mean, it's always great to see all the comments and the likes, and it's just great to know people are keeping up with us. So throw, if you can, throw us a Facebook like, uh, find out what might be in your area, or when we'll have our next live stream up. Um, also, uh, we, uh, we also have a website, bigshrimp.net. Um, that's always updated with tour dates and the recent news and that has all our music on it and links to the Facebook and Instagram so yeah.